Welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial will show you how to morph from a plaster dental model with the software program Phantomorph. A trial version of this program is available on this CD. Start with clicking on the icon of Phantomorph. If you do have a trial version, it will take about 10 seconds before the program starts. You do have 30 days for this trial. Start with a new project wizard. Choose to create a new project. In this case, we'll choose for Morph. We're going to import the images for this project. Click on image number 1, choose for the thumbnails, and click on image 1. Click yes to minimize the size. Now we're going to import the second image. click on next now we're going to adjust the size to avoid any distortion choose for a fixed ratio in this case 1 to 1 resize the image and click OK We'll do the same with the model, the second model. Go for a fixed ratio again, 1 to 1 in this case. Crop the image and reposition. Click OK and verify on the preview window if the position is OK. Click on Next. Adjust the movie length into 70 frames. Click Next. In this case, we'll skip Add Movie Effects. and we'll escape the face locator make sure that the option auto add and auto jump are selected also the simultaneously zoom and pan for both images are also selected as soon as you move the cursor to the image it will change into a pen and if you click with your mouse then the green dot will appear as soon as you have done that the cursor will jump to the other image that's the function of the auto jump and you can add an extra dot as soon as you click on that it will jump to the other side to make more an exact indication of the location of your landmarks you can magnify the area try to indicate your landmarks as much as possible 
this will guarantee a very smooth result. Good landmarks for teeth are cusp, fossa, gingival margins, So when you bring one dot in one image, you have to reposition the dot on the other image at the same landmark. If it's in the middle of a cusp, you bring the other image also in the middle of the cusp. For rotated teeth, make sure that the mesial and distal landmarks are properly positioned. In this case, it would be very good to go to place all the landmarks on all separate teeth. If it's possible, place more than a single landmark on every tooth. To correct a position of a landmark of a green dot, click on that dot till it turns white, hold your left mouse and move it to the location, the corrected location and release the mouse. So we make sure we cover all teeth in this case. This is a case where the treatment was done with a removal and a fixed expansion appliance followed by straight wire. We almost come to the end of the last landmarks. We go back to the normal fit. Let's see the end product by clicking on play. Now we can see the morph from beginning model to the after model. To have a better preview, click on F7 
let's now export our movie we'll choose for an API movie in this case we give the title expansion for the trial version there will be a watermark trial on top of the end product this watermark will disappear after you have purchased the full product when the product is finished it will play immediately after this in window media player click on play and you can see the morph movie starting let's now export it to a standalone version of the morph movie Depending on the speed of your computer, the movie export will take between 1 and 2 minutes. With a standalone version, you can vary the speed at any time. By moving the slider between slow and fast. There are other versions for the export product as well. Screensaver is something that is definitely worthwhile doing it. When we done, don't forget to save the project. This is the end of this tutorial.